Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you for joining me I'm Katie and today I've dug out another really old drawing I did about eight years ago and I'm going to redo it in a different medium. So the medium I've decided to use is watercolour and I am using Daniel Smith watercolours which were very kindly sent to me by Arte Mystique and I will leave a link to her channel in my description. So I did a wet on wet and this is on Archer's watercolour paper hot press 300 GSM. Go oh, that's a mouthful. And like I say, I'm doing a wet on wet technique because I want them colours to bleed in the background. I really want some nice textures there because on the original one, there were a lot of textures added using the lines and I like that. But I think it might have been lost a little bit with watercolour if it had just done a flat layer. So we've got some nice textures there for that night sky. For the waves, I'm also doing a wet on wet technique, but I wanted to just add a coloured tint down just so I could differentiate between the two. And I need to let you know as well that I had used a masking fluid pen and it did prove a little bit problematic at times. I think this might have been down to using the heat gun which you would have seen flash up a few seconds ago and I think it just made it cling to the paper a little bit too much so it would come off in some areas and that wouldn't be a problem but in other areas it did get a little bit too ingrained into it and unfortunately it wouldn't entirely come off however there's always a way around this and where there's a will there's a way and I'll find a way so comparing this to the original, I did completely redraw it. It isn't like how I recreated it on Procreate with the other drawing I did a few videos back. I wanted to perhaps just update the style a little bit because eight years is a long time to pass and we're always evolving as artists. I'm not really... I don't, it's very strange, I've got quite a few different styles for a few different types of pieces and I'm sure you'll agree the dragons I draw are very different to this kind of work and my more cartoony stuff's different to my more realistic stuff and you could say I haven't settled on a style or maybe I've got a few styles and I like to just chop and change and keep things interesting. However, I did want to just ever so slightly bring this picture that I'd done all that time ago a little bit more up to date with how I actually work so the fish are a little bit more subtle and I've kept things a little bit more uniform the sea fairy herself she's a little bit more simplified in her form but obviously because I'm using watercolours and not having to do all of that line work that that works quite nicely I actually quite prefer the drawing of this to the original and again I think that might just be my perspective but I absolutely love the original drawing because it took me a very long time with the fine pens I don't know if I've mentioned it before but after finishing university I was broke and my laptop had died and all I could afford was some nice paper I always try and make sure I've got nice paper and a fine line of pens that's all I'd got and I worked with them for ages I used the Stabilo and the Steadly of pens and what I couldn't add in large areas of colour I would add with details and textures instead. I do sometimes still indulge in that but not very often just because of how time consuming it could be and I will get to a stage where I might do a more I mean I've touched on it before with Inktober and a few other projects but to, to do an A4 piece it takes a long time but I might gear up and do one in the future but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna promise you that I'll do one just yet and I, I need to get to a, a stage where I'm happy that I can create something quickly enough but not lose any quality but anyway, let's get back to the watercolours. So I absolutely loved the colour palette from the original and I wanted to try and maintain as much as possible. There are a few changes here and there, but I think the main colour theme and how it works is still the same. And I actually preferred using the watercolours to keep her leg details still visible in the water, which I think on the line drawing, not that it's a bad thing, but I do feel that them details were lost within the details. Now, does that make sense? 
I wanted to have a nice lime green for the wings as well just so we've got a different cut of colour in there and again these these paints are amazing I absolutely love these paints I'm so so grateful that they were sent to me and I keep on winning an R in about buying just a small pack of them but oh it, it just hurts me I look at the price and I think oh ouch and I do have quite a lot of good watercolors in at the moment excluding the recent ones I reviewed which I won't talk about for a while but um yeah I, I do th I do keep thinking about it but they are a little bit on the expensive side at the moment and I don't think I can quite justify them just yet anyway you'll see now where I'm having a bit of trouble with some of the masking fluid that had gone down out of the pen. It's a bit annoying really and I think maybe I'm due to replace the pen because the nibs got all clogged and yucky and there's only so many times you can clean it and of course the liquid itself does run out eventually. So to restore some of those highlights where the masking fluid let me down or maybe I wanted to change it I went in there with a Posca pen. Now I was going to use a gel pen but that just wasn't quite showing up and it was ever so slightly reactivating the watercolour underneath it and no I couldn't be, I, I, it wouldn't have done anything to change the picture so Posca pen was the right choice here and maybe just as a nod at the original drawing as well as actually helping me out I decided to outline everything with fine pens and these are the ones I got in the January Upcrate box the ones that worked anyway I had considered going and doing the outlines using watercolour paints and the rigger brush but unfortunately my finest rigger brush is it's coming towards the end of its life and unfortunately that does happen with a lot of my brushes and the the point on it wasn't staying as pointy as I wanted so I thought let's just use these pens it's actually quite nice to tie in a little bit of the old media with the new one and I'm really happy with how it worked out I'd got a colour to match everywhere I wanted and I did not use a black pen which I did think about but I think it keeps it nice and soft anyway here is the end result let me know in the comments what you think do you prefer the original one or do you prefer the one I have done eight years later I'd really like to know what you think I like them both the original one took a long time to draw and holds a lot of memories whereas the redo I always gain something from every piece I do so I like the redo as well I find it hard to decide so let me know in the comments which your favorite one is as always thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video and I know I enjoy making these videos for you but I hope it's kind of I don't know perhaps inspires you to look at your old work sometimes we can all see faults in our own work and sometimes it's nice to revisit to see where we've reached a point and our art journeys anyway don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you haven't already please subscribe i'm nearly at 300 subs how cool is that anyway i'll leave you to have a look thank you so much for watching bye